Hello friends, Tony here. In this video now, let's set up a new Mac for Daravel development. With the new application, it's very easy. We need just to install three applications here. One which is from Daravel, the Herd, just released a couple of days. So let's download this one. You can go to the herd.laravel.com. Then I'm going to install this DB engine for a database download this one and also we need uh, node.js so these three applications okay now let's open and install one by one so the first one is going to be heard so let's just drag and drop to the applications and we are ready now before I install the others I'm going to open the terminal and just show you if I uh, zoom it a little bit and if I say here php dash version as we can see we have command not found for php I don't have installed the php here and also node.js of course is not found and the mysql is not found uh, good I installed now the Heard, let's install DB engine. The same thing, just drag and drop here. And the last one is to install Node.js. Click continue, continue, agree. And you can change the location. If you want, add the password and hit enter. Okay, close this, move to trash, and now look if I open the hard application. If I open that, okay, open. Now let's get started here. Add the password, and also you can automatically launch her on system startup if you like. I'm going to check that. And let's get started. Now here we have the herd and if we can see we have the nginx, dns, mask and fpm. Good. Now if I open the terminal, let's uh, close first this terminal here and open again. And I'm going to zoom it just for you here. And let's say now if I say php version, as we can see right now we have 8.2 because we have installed the heart. Okay, also we have Composer, if I show you, and also we have Laravel here. Good. I'm going to install this, click OK. And because I have Laravel, now if you go to the herd uh, documentation, by default with the, when we have installed Laravel Valet, Let's go to the parked paths and I'm going to zoom it. By default, herd will uh, serve sites from the herd directory. So instead of code, you can create herd. But if you don't like that, you can create, for example, sites and then CD in the sites and say herd parked. Okay. Okay. So I prefer to create code directory so let's say make directory code and let's see the in the code directory and now we can say heard part okay so just copy and paste and now this directory has been added to heard path good now because we are in the code directory let's say laravel new and I'm going to say just app. Okay, it's going to create a new Laravel application. Very good. Okay, the application is ready. Now I'm going to cd in the app directory. And first of all, let's open that one here. So if I say app.test, yeah, here we have the application. Very good. Now let's open the DB engine also so if i open the db engine here click open 
and I will check automatically. So we don't have a service, so let's create a new one. And I'm going to select MySQL. You can choose what you like. Choose the version here. Give it the name. I'm going to name it MySQL. And the port by default is 3306. OK. If you want to automatically start the service on login, you can click here. And let's say create. And now we have here, let's say start. Now, if you click here, you can see open in table plus, but we need to download that. So let's come here and say download. Okay. Go and download that. Download for Mac OS. And also I'm going to download the VS code. So let's download this one and let's install first the table plus. Just drag and drop. Now download the for Mac VS code. Let's open the table plus. Click open. And I'm going to open now the DB engine and say open in table plus and here it is we have some databases here so let's create new just say up here click ok click open and now we are good let's install also the vs code and just i'm going to drag to the application and now let's open the vs code here okay here it is okay now just say command shift p and say shell here install code command in path say enter click ok ok now let's close this and let's open the terminal and here i'm going to open this with the vs code so code dot and here it is i'm going to open the dot env file just trust this and open the .env file. We have the database app and the database username is root, which is okay. Now let's say here, PHP artisan migrate. Hit enter. And as you can see, now we have also migration. And that's it, how you can uh, set up your Mac for Laravel development. I hope you enjoy and see you in the next video. All the best. Thank you very much.